aldol reaction is given by carbonyl compound that has at least one alpha hydrogen for example let us consider this reaction so we have two mole of aldehyde final product we have that is beta hydroxy aldehyde now let us discuss mechanism of this reaction the first step is simply acid base reaction aldehyde has a alpha hydrogen and this is acidic in nature so oh minus will act as a base and it will abstract a proton and we will generate enolate ion this ion is also called carb n ion now this enolate ion is resonance stabilized so we can write resonating a structure so we have two resonating a structure for enolate ion the next step we have nucleophilic attack by enolate ion so we have another molecule of aldehyde enolate ion acts as a nucleophile and we will have nucleophilic attack final product is a alkoxide ion alkoxide ion is a stronger base than water so we will have acid base reaction once again so we have alkoxide ion this will take a proton from water and finally we will have aldol so this product is called aldol because it has a aldehyde group and it has a alcohol group
so final product is called aldol because it has a aldehyde group and a alcohol group basically aldol is a beta hydroxy aldehyde so this is the final product so this product is beta hydroxy aldehyde so this is aldol addition product if aldol is heated in the presence of acid it gets dehydrated so we have beta hydroxy aldehyde and if this is heated in the presence of acid we will have dehydration and finally we will have alpha beta unsaturated compound and this time we have a aldehyde so alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde so this is condensation product so if i say addition product we will have beta hydroxy aldehyde or ketone that is beta hydroxy carbonyl compound now if i say condensation product we will have alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde or ketone that is we will have alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound now let us write product of aldol addition reaction and aldol condensation reaction for this reactant so we have a alpha hydrogen so in the first step we will generate the enolate ion next step is nucleophilic attack
So we will have alkoxide ion. And in the next step, this ion can be protonated. and we will have finally addition product and this is beta hydroxy aldehyde for this case we will not have condensation product So, if addition product is heated, we will not get condensation product. So, no condensation product. And this is because this carbon has no alpha hydrogen from here we can say to get condensation product we must have Two alpha hydrogen let us write product for this reaction So, first step is generation of enolate ion and the next step is nucleophilic attack. and we will have alkoxide ion if we protonate alkoxide ion we will have aldol addition product So, this is a beta hydroxy aldehyde if addition product is heated we will get condensation product at this carbon we should have a hydrogen. So, we will release one molecule of water. So, this is condensation product condensation product is alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde.
to get the condensation product be required very less amount of heating and this is because the final product has a conjugated system. So, we have a double bond single bond then we have a double bond. So, final product is a conjugated system this is because final product has a conjugated system so this is about aldol reaction